All right, so in this video, we're going to be doing some examples with the disk method. This is just going to be finding volumes of a solid uh, by with a, of like a, a region, and we're going to rotate about some axis. Okay, so let's dive into our first problem here. We want to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by x equals two rad y, uh, x equals zero, and y equals nine about the y axis. All right, so a great first step here, okay? Just draw out what you actually have for a region and you know show your rotation. And honestly, it makes things 100 times easier, okay? So if we're actually gonna draw this out, okay? What does x equals two rad y look like? Well, most of you probably aren't gonna be able to tell me that right away. You probably should solve for y, okay? So, if you solve for y here, we have x is equal to 2 rad y. We can divide by 2 on each side. All right, and that gives us rad y is equal to x over 2. We square both sides. And we're going to get that y is equal to x squared over 4. All right, so we can just say that that kind of looks like a little parabola guy there. All right, so... Now we have an idea of the first uh, bound, okay? What about our next bound? We have x equals 0, all right? So we know we have a bound here, and we have y equals 9. So we know we have a bound going across here, okay? And we want to rotate this about the y-axis. Now make sure that you're rotating about the right axis, okay? Don't make the mistake of rotating about the x-axis and then messing everything up for yourself, all right? So... If we rotate this region, all right, and hopefully this drawing will look okay. That looks good enough. All right, we're going to get something like that, okay? And what is going to be the area of each cross section? Because remember, how are we going to find the volume? All right, well, we're going to find the, the area of each individual cross section, and then we're going to integrate to sum up all of those cross sections along this interval okay and that gives us volume so let's start off we have that area because these are circular cross sections we're going to get that area is pi r squared right and all we need to do now is to find our radius what is our radius going to be well it's the distance from the center to the the edge here and what is that distance well that's that's x right so area is equal to pi x squared. But what is x? Well, well, x is 2 rad y, right? So, actually, I can write the 2 outside the parentheses. It might make a little more sense for right now. Um, we can just substitute in 2 rad y. And then we square that. Okay, another reason that I'm doing that is because we're going to be integrating with respect to y later. You can already see that we have a bound of y equals 9. So we're going to be integrating with respect to y. We need everything in terms of y. So we're going to square this. We're going to get area is equal to 4 pi y. All right. And now that we found our area, we're going to find our volume. Okay, and our volume is going to be given by the integral of... 4 pi y dy. But what are our bounds going to be? Well, it's going to be from the bottom y point, right, which is 0, and our top y point, which is at y equals 9. Okay? So now all we have to do is just integrate this. We can, full, we can pull that 4 pi out, so we get volume is equal to 4 pi times the integral from 0 to 9 of y dy. And then let's just integrate from there. Volume is equal to 4 pi times y squared over 2. And evaluate that from 0 to 9. All right. And then when we evaluate that, we get that. Well, we're going to have that 4 pi still. And uh, we, so we can, the 0 is just going to kill everything, right? We're not going to uh, have anything when we put in 0 because we get a 0 over 2. So we don't even really need to worry about that. But what we do need to worry about is that we're going to get a 9 squared over 2 for that first term when we evaluate. Okay? So uh, moving forward here, we know that that 9 squared is, of course, 81. 
and we know that this 2 will cancel out with this 4 and then leave a 2 there. So our volume is going to equal, well, you're going to have a 81 times 2, so that's going to be 162 pi. All right, and that's going to be the volume, and that's going to be the answer for the first problem here. Okay, so really nothing too hard. I mean, you have to draw your picture first, find your area, and then use your area to find your volume. Okay? All right, so here's our next problem. Uh, find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y equals red, x minus 1, y equals 0, and x equals 5 about the x-axis. Okay? So... The first thing that we, and of course this is the same style problem, I might make a, like a harder uh, disk method um, video, but for right now this is what we're going to deal with. Um, we need to draw a picture. So let's get our, our axes. What is y equals rad x minus 1 going to be? All right. Well, this is actually something that you should know, okay? You should know what the minus 1 is going to do there, right? We know that a red x graph will look something like this, right? But that minus 1 is going to shift it over 1, okay? So you're going to end up with something like this, all right? And we know that our bounds are y equals 0, so this line right here, and x equals 5, so something like this, all right? And that is how we're getting that area. So, there's an area we're going to be rotating about the x-axis, okay? So, rotating this way, all right, and we're going to get our little volume there, all right, and now we just need to find the area, then find the volume. So, what's our area going to be? Well, remember, our formula for the area is still going to be pi r squared, we're dealing with a circle, we're, we're dealing with circular cross-sections here. All right, and what is our radius going to be? Well, our radius, right, it's going to be from our top point here to the center, and that's y, right? That's, our, that's the distance y, so y squared. Since we are rotating about the, the x-axis, we're given uh, our bound with our x. I mean, you can also say, oh, well, you, you, know, you could probably make the argument... Well, you have that y equals zero there, so why aren't you using that and in, in you know integrating with respect to y? Well, we that x equals five is going to be a little bit more important. We also know our initial point, which is going to be one, um, because we know that y equals red x minus one. Okay, so it's just going to be easier to integrate uh, with respect to x here. So, what is our x? All right. Well, or sorry, what is our what is our y going to mean here? Well, our y is going to be red x minus 1, and we're going to square that, of course, because it's r squared. So, we're going to get area equal to pi times x minus 1. All right, great. We found our area. Now, we need to integrate to add up each of those cross sections, okay? So, volume is equal to the integral of pi times x minus 1 dx. All right, what are our bounds? Well, we know our, our last bound is five, right? That's our upper bound. What's our lower bound? Well, we sit, we have that rad x minus one. We know we have to shift over one, right, to, to graph that in the first place. And that means that it's going to start at one. So we have the uh, integral from one to five of pi times x minus one dx. So let's take our volume here. We can pull that pi out. And then I guess we can just really integrate the, the inside. So we get x squared over 2 minus x. And then we need to evaluate that from 1 to 5. All right. So I took that pi out and then I integrated the x minus 1. Okay. So our volume is going to be equal to pi times, well, we have a 5 squared over 2 minus 5. And I guess you could put that in a bracket. And then we have minus. 1 squared, oops, 1 squared over 2 minus 1. Alright, going from there, we have our volume of, well, we have a pi here. Uh, we're going to get a 25 over 2 minus, you can rewrite that as 10 over 2, so that's 15 over 2. 
and then you have minus a one half minus two halves, which is going to be a negative one half, and you have to uh, take, in, uh, take into account that negative, so this becomes plus one half, and all together you get a volume of eight pi. All right, so that's basically it, okay? Uh, the only thing that I could see you struggling with here is just understanding what is going on here, okay? And, you know, just a brief overview of what's going on. We, this area, okay, this area that we found here is telling us the area of each cross section, okay? You could be wondering, well, how, how does an area tell you more than one area? Well, that's because it's a function, right? It's a function of x. So it can tell us the area at any point on that interval, okay? So if we know the area at any point on the interval, if we integrate, now we add all those areas up, okay? And we get our volume, okay? It's as simple as that. It's nothing really too, too complicated, all right? And uh, that does it for this video.